the 1970s, the me decade. Our generation wanted to party, and we did it on the dance floor. Love it, hate it, disco. And not. That's one small step for man. In their children, if not in our own time. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Our generation, sponsored by AARP. Some people say that disco is dead, but tonight at the 92nd Street Y, it lives. Let's go inside. Britzy of Millennium Hustle hosts weekly disco parties for those who still love the nightlife. So how long have you been doing this dance here on Saturday nights? Five and a half years. Have you really? Yes. It, it brings a smile and brings back a period of time where things were just pretty easy going. Something about partner dancing is it's a dialogue just like you and I are having a dialogue and conversing. It was an exciting period of time and it was exciting to be out dancing every night. I think we were addicted. It brings back memories for me of, you know, great times in the 70s and the music just takes you back. When I'm out there dancing, I feel like uh, time hasn't gone by at all, you know. I go out there on the dance floor and I'm, it's in a different world. Dancing never dies. I think dancing lives forever. There's a sense of nostalgia here, the classic music and the classic dance moves, but the folks here want to preserve something from our generation and pass it on to the next. I want to bring this dance to the new millennium, and I want the younger people to realize that this is not something that should be lost. I want this dance to live on. I think it's a shame if it gets lost as a period dance. There's a few of us that are keeping it alive and pushing it, you know, so the whole world can see it. It's evolved, it's much more sophisticated. I mean, I've been doing it for 30 years and I want to do it until I die. I, you know, I seen somebody the other day actually with a shirt that said, Disco Sucks. And in my mind, I'm on a train and I'm looking at him and I'm saying, boy, if he only knew where I was going, he would be pissed. <laughs> Today, you don't have to come to New York City to see disco's impact on our generation. All you have to do is look around. Disco and the generation that created it have inspired a cultural revolution. It's forever blurred the line separating black and white, straight and gay, male and female. Disco broke down old barriers and it embodied new freedoms. So the next time someone tries to convince you that disco is dead, you just tell them. We're all living in a disco world. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.